The UI for this app will be made up of three main Swift UI views. A navigation view showing the word they are spelling from, a text field where they can enter one answer, and a list showing all the words they've entered previously. But now, every time users enter a word into the text field, we'll automatically add it to the list of used words. Later though, we'll add some validation to make sure the word hasn't been used before, can actually be produced from the root word they've been given, and is a real word and not just some random letters. Let's start with the basics. We need an array of words they've already used, a root word for them to spell from, and a string we can bind to a text field. So, add these three properties to content view now. At state, private var, used words equals a string array. At state, private var, root word equals an empty string. At state, private var, new word equals another empty string. As for the body of the view, we're going to start off as simple as possible. A navigation view with root word for its title, then a vstack with a text field and a list. So we'll say, navigation view, vstack, text field, enter your word, text, dollar new word, list, used words, id, backslash dot self, text, dollar zero. Then, navigation bar title, root word. By giving used words to list directly, we're asking it to make one row for every word in the array, uniquely identified by the word itself. This will cause problems if there are lots of duplicates in used words, but soon enough we'll be disallowing that so it's not a problem. If you run the program, you'll see the text field doesn't look great. It's not even really visible next to the navigation bar or the list. Fortunately, we can fix that by asking SwiftUI to draw a light grey border around its edge using the text field style modifier. This usually looks best with a little bit of padding around the edges so it doesn't touch the edges of the screen. So add these two modifiers to the text field now. Dot text field style, rounded border text field style, dot padding. That styling looks a little better, but the text view still has a problem. Although we can type into the text box, we can't submit anything from there. There's no way of adding our entry to the list of used words. To fix that, we're going to write a new method called add new word that will, first, lowercase new word and remove any white space. Second, check that it has at least one character otherwise exit. Third, insert that word at position zero in the used words array. And fourth, set new word back to be an empty string. Later on, we'll add some extra validation between steps two and three to make sure the word is allowable. But for now, this method is straightforward. Funk, add new word. Then we'll lowercase and trim the word to make sure we don't add duplicate words with case differences. We'll say, let answer equals new word dot lowercase dot trimming characters in dot white spaces and new lines. Then if the remaining string's empty, we'll exit. I'll say, guard answer dot count is greater than zero, else return. Here, we'll put some extra validation later on. Then we'll say, used words dot insert answer at zero, and new word is an empty string. We want to call add new word when the user presses return on the keyboard, and in SwiftUI we can do that by providing an on commit closure for the text field. I know that sounds fancy, but in practice it's just a matter of providing a trailing closure to text field that will be called whenever return is pressed. In fact, because a closure signature, which is the parameters it needs to accept and its return type, exactly matches the add new word method we just wrote, we can pass that in directly. I'll add on commit colon add new word. Run the app now and you'll see that things are starting to come together already. We can now type words into the text field, press return and see them appear in the list. Inside add new word, we used used words dot insert answer at zero for a reason. If we'd used append answer, the new words would have appeared at the end of the list where they would probably be off screen but by inserting words at the start of the array, they automatically slide in at the top of the list, much better. Before we move on to put a title up in the navigation view, I'm going to make two small changes to our layout. First, when we call add new word, it lowercases the word the user entered, which is helpful because it means the user can't add car, car, and car with different types of capitalization. However, it looks odd in practice, the text field automatically capitalizes the first letter of whatever the user types. So when they submit car with a capital C, 
what we see in the list is car with a lowercase c. To fix this, we can disable capitalization for the text field with another modifier, auto capitalization. Please add this to the text field now. Auto capitalization dot none. The second thing we'll change, just because we can really, is to use Apple's SF symbols icons to show the length of each word next to the text. SF symbols provides numbers and circles from 0 through 50, all named using the format x.circle.fill. So 1.circle.fill, 20.circle.fill, and so on. In this program, we'll be showing eight letter words to users. So if they rearrange all those letters to make a new word, the longest it'll be is also eight letters. As a result, we can use those SF symbols number circles just fine. We know that all possible word lengths are covered. Now, if we use a second view inside a list row, SwiftUI will automatically create an implicit horizontal stack for us, so everything in the row sits neatly side by side. What this means is we can just add image system name directly inside the list, and we're done. Image system name string interpolation dollar zero dot count dot circle. If you run the app now, you'll see you can type words into the text field, press return, then see them slide into the list with a length icon to the side. Nice.